What's the naughtiest thing you've ever done? You don't want to know. When we've had big guests on in the past, sometimes there's a list of questions that we're not allowed to ask, but I've found a loophole to get around this. We get kids to ask some of the big questions. That way, if a guest doesn't answer, means they hate children. They're pying off a child. Exactly. But there's nothing wrong with that if you're a father. So first up is Cooper, age five. That's a good age five. Hi, I'm Cooper, I'm five years old. My favourite number is 15. Good number, that. Alan Off and Tom Hardy, how did you get into the TV? How did, question, the TV? how did you get in the TV? There's a little door round the back and inside there, there's various colleges. It's a little bit like Hogwarts, but different. And there's an acting school in there as well. And after a period of time, you graduate, and eventually you appear when they let you Amazing. on the screen. How do you get back out of the telly once you're sort of finished? You open up the door and you come back out again, and you close it behind you, but that's a secret. That's some real insider information there, Cooper. Please keep that to yourself. And also, Cooper, yeah. don't go around the back of the telly without your mum or dad watching you, OK? And touch any wires or look for a door. Next up, we have Lola. Hi, Tom. My name's Lola and I'm 11. I've just started a new school and I'm trying really hard to behave. What's the naughtiest thing you've ever done? You don't want to know. Lola. I think she does, though, Tom. Yeah, the thing she you... wants to know the naughtiest thing you've ever done. Go online <laughs> when you're old enough and have a look. It gets worse. But making the effort to try to be good is really, really important. But being yourself is more important. Enjoy being young because it's very, very special. And remember what I always say, Lola, if you don't do well at school, you can always be a radio DJ. Next up is Sienna. Hi, Tom. My name's Sienna and I'm 10. I recently just played Glinda the Good Witch and Wizard of Oz. Ledge. If I was a snack, I'd be Chris. What snack would you be? What snack would I be? It wouldn't be meaty. I'm not really a meaty snack. I'm too sort of sinewy, mm. you know? So more of a twiglet. How about that? A bag of twiglets. You would be a bag of twiglets. Yeah, you either love it or you hate it, don't you? You either love me or you hate me. Either way, I'm a bag of twiglets. Man. I, don't, I don't know anyone that <laughs> you hates do Tom Hardy. <laughs> what an image. Leave me or take me. I'm a bag of twiglets. What's up? <laughs> I don't care. Next up, Isabella. Hey, Isabella. I'm Isabella Mantle. I have five princesses. Jasmine, Elsa, Moana. And Moana is my favourite princess. Rapunzel, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, and um, that's all of them. What's your favourite princess? I'm just really glad that she's caught all of the princesses and she's taking care of them, so I don't think I could choose. Long live all of those princesses. <laughs> Long live Isabella. And more importantly, long live Isabella. Yeah, she seems like the, the princess there. Um, in a nice way. Lovely message here from uh, Jimmy, who's six and a half. It's a manly age. Hi, Tom Hardy. My name is Jimmy, and I'm six and a half. I love goldfish because I think that the golden. Do you like goldfish more than humans? Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy. All sentient beings are, are important, you know, so I don't think you can love anything that's not sentient more than the other, you know. And we can see ourselves in all living things. So one has to care about everything and approach it with love. Unless, of course, it attacks you. In which case, lovingly, see it off with a big stick. <laughs> that's so profound. But love all things, buddy. Unless. Unless it's coming at you, mate. In which case. Dispatch it with the love, man. Got you. <laughs> Got you. Tom, you're the best. I, it wouldn't work out, but I, I somehow wish that you were my dad and you could give me this kind of advice going up. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is silly, bugger. What are your biggest concerns about the Brexit negotiations? Mm. Wow. <laughs> oh, God, please don't make me answer that on the radio. <laughs> I mean, first interview of the day, talking politics is absolutely terrifying. Let me warm up to it. It's Let's about, about dog breeds again. Please. 